One question that we're often asked at Kenwood is what are the differences in between the types of screens that are offered in your receivers? So we thought, what better time to answer that than now? There are two different styles of screens that we use in our receivers. However, there are still some differences that lie in between those. So we'll be using three different models that we offer to help paint the picture of where these differences come into play. Optical bonding is a new feature that we're excited to incorporate in our 10.1 inch floating panel receiver. Traditionally, your receiver screen will have a small gap in between the inner and outer layer of that screen itself. With optical bonding, we fill that small gap and adhere those two layers together with a clear resin. Now, let's talk about some of the benefits that an optically bonded screen has to offer. By adhering these two layers together with this clear resin, we gain a few advantages. For example, light transmission, meaning the receiver screen will be brighter and more clear than it ever has been in the past. Also helping for sunlight dropout, ensuring that even on those bright sunny days, you'll be able to see all the information being displayed on your receiver screen without any interference from the sun itself. Now, long-term, we do have some other advantages. By filling this gap that was traditionally found on older receivers with this clear resin, it prevents smaller particles, such as dust or ice particles in colder environments, from getting into this area, meaning that even after your installation, your receiver screen will stay as bright and clear as it was the first day you got it. The DMX4707S is a 6.8 inch WVGA capacitive screen. WVGA stands for Wide Video Graphics Array, which is any screen that follows the traditional values of a 480 pixel height. However, it's larger than the traditional VGA in 640, which is how we achieve this resolution with a 6.8 inch capacitive screen. So now that we know what a WVGA screen type is, let's take a look at what a capacitive screen is and how it functions. Capacitive screens operate off of a small electronic charge that's sent across the surface of the glass on the receiver itself. Your fingertip actually acts as the connection point between these electronic charges, showing the receiver where to pinpoint the location that these electronic charges were connected and gaining a reaction from it. Now, with these screen types, you'll notice you have faster response times with minimal pressure needing to be applied. For example, when I touch the receiver screen here, you can see that I deactivate the demonstration mode by barely tapping the screen itself. Now, this benefits us in gaining those faster response times that I just mentioned. Also, you'll notice it's easier to navigate in some cases, being able to swipe left or right, or select sources to toggle in between different options. Here you can see we can easily access the menu, select the radio tuner, and then change the station left or right very quickly with applying minimal pressure. Clear resistive touch panels function differently than the capacitive screens we mentioned earlier. However, they are featured in a few of our available models. For example, here, we have the DDX9707S. So let's take a look and see how they work. Clear resistive screens do still function off of a small electronic charge. However, the construction behind them is set up differently. In this case, we have a layer of glass covered by a thin layer of plastic that's then separated by a small gap. So whenever your finger touches the surface of the screen, you're actually pressing that plastic through that gap to complete that connection. In this case, customers who live in a cooler climate, for example, stand to gain an advantage because they don't have to remove thicker gloves in order to use the screen or to gain control of the receiver. So now that we've seen how a clear resistive touch panel functions, what's the advantage behind it? Ultimately, it's a lower cost option, allowing us to enable premium features at a lower price point. As an added bonus for our customers who live in colder climates, 
It also enables them to use the screen while still wearing their gloves. So that wraps up the differences in between the screen types offered on Kenwood receivers. Thanks for following along, and hopefully we were able to answer some questions you might have had along the way. We'll see you next time. Kenwood.